Hello, my name is Jeff with BioRelief.com. In this video, we're going to highlight the new leg bags that are coming in with the Stadium Pal kits. Uh, Colaplast, who is the manufacturer, had to discontinue the older version we were using and replace them with these newer ones. Uh, there are some improvements with these. Uh, you're going to find one is the tubing is anti-kink. Um, every other section here is going to have a smooth section to it. Uh, and that's important where you want to trim the tubing at, and we'll highlight that here shortly. Uh, the back side has a flocked back to it, so that's a nice, soft, kind of fabric-y material that's going against the skin and not that vinyl plastic that was there before. Uh, the leg, leg straps are an improvement uh, for the upper leg bag, for the upper strap. It is a wider strap. Uh, there are some button fixtures here. We'll show you how to incorporate those onto the leg bag. Uh, these straps are cut to fit, so you will be needing to trim the length of these. These have already been trimmed, and it is a Velcro oven on the opposite end. Again, for the lower section of the leg bag, it is a thinner strip uh, for the leg bag with buttons as well. Again, designed to be trim. Uh, now we're going to show you why it's important to trim the bag uh, to the hose that's uh, a length that's comfortable for you. Uh, real quickly though, we will address that some men have been complaining that there is a vacuum effect uh, happening in the leg bag when they drain it. Uh, and that is true. What's happening is you have a very good seal for one, but it's, uh, it's pulling all the air out of the leg bag when you're draining it. A good way to alleviate that is uh, first thing when the leg bag is clean, when you put it on first thing, uh, actually before you put it on, you can blow a small portion of air or a small pocket of air into the leg bag. So what that'll do is allow an air pocket in there so when you do drain it, uh, you don't have to drain it all the way. Don't have to have all the urine ent exit the leg bag. Leave a small portion in there and that'll prevent any vacuum effect that was happening that was uh, retaining urine in the tubing or collapsing the catheter. Again, that will help you address those issues on trim trimming the tubing to a proper length and incorporating the leg bag straps onto the leg bag. Okay, I want to address how the, uh, how the straps are incorporated into the leg bag and how to trim the tubing. As you can see here that there are baffled sections and smooth sections of the tubing. Uh, when you trim the tubing, it's important to leave the most smooth section as possible. So as you can see here, when you do trim it, trim it right at the edge, leaving a smooth section here. This is where the, catheter, or the connector plugs into, so you want to make sure that the, connect, the connector is firmly fitted in there, so there's no chance of it coming out. All right, that's good and snug in there, so it's not going to come out on its own. The other uh, important thing to see here is that there are some button straps or some buttons incorporated onto the straps. Uh, these are designed to fit in the slots on the leg bag. So you're going to put one, and these fit in just like regular buttons. You're going to incorporate one here. Okay. One there. Oops. Okay, and the same with the upper portion. The straps actually go under the, they're going to go under the bag, so that's what's going against your skin. So some people are trying to actually feed the straps through the actual slots here. Uh, these slots are made for the buttons. Okay, and then you actually, you can see where the Velcro comes into effect here, uh, just placing it there, and that's how it increases, that's how it's attached. Okay, lower and upper portions. So. Now you know that with your Stadium Pal kit and understanding the new leg bags, uh, the differences between the two and how to operate them, uh, you can see here that the open and close valve, uh, it's a snapshot mechanism here uh, before it was a T-tap. So that concludes this video on showing how the new leg bags are used with the Stadium Pal kit. For more information on the Stadium Pal kit, uh, you can visit biorelief.com or the link below. Thank you.